attention. However, it seems that we've attracted the attention of everyone, the very people we targeted. There seems to be some kind of confusion. You see, we are independent contractors working for independent promoters in the professional wrestling business. Professional wrestling. At no point have we ever referred to ourselves as indie wrestlers. Because as we stated before, indie is nothing more than an excuse. It's an excuse. Indie used to be an abbreviation of independent. Well, what indie seems to mean is it seems to be an excuse for why a guy doesn't hit the gym. It seems to be an excuse for why a guy doesn't have professionally made gear. Indie has been torn apart by a certain image. And apparently defended by a bunch of guys who are still yet to step up to myself and Haskins and actually answer our challenge. For the past two years, you guys have walked around with Defend Indie Wrestling across your chest. It was Defend Indie Wrestling this, it was Defend Indie Wrestling that. Anyway, you want Defend Indie Wrestling logos everywhere. Merchandise, stickers, wristbands, t-shirts, you name it, it was shoved down our throats. You say you defend indie wrestling, but when it's under attack, we challenge you, we step up, we actually challenge you. You do nothing. Nobody steps up and defends indie wrestling. Which means that anybody who was ever born one of your t-shirts is walking around with nothing more than a gigantic lie written across their chest. It's a simple, it's almost the first time around. If you've got any balls between your skinny little legs, You'll stand up and answer us. Answer us! Answer us! Because like we said, screw indie wrestling. I'm crying.